back to an all new episode of the Rated MA podcast. I am Tavares. I'm Dabrian. And I'm Blake. And today we have one of our new friends sitting in uh, to have some fun with us today. His name is Javante. And he's actually one of the guys that uh, Blake and I met on episode two at the party that we were telling you about where he was reading the room, telling the girls that they was husband material <laughs> and something that they were thoughts. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I, I, was. Was. I need to know which one I was. Had, did you listen to the episode? Oh, I did. I listened to all of the episodes. What did you think about that episode that I you wait were featured to, on? <laughs> I, I wait to get on to talk about all of it with you guys. But, <laughs> um... And so the, the friend that I was with that night, he called me. I'm on my way to work. He's like, hey, they're talking about us on their radio show. <laughs> <laughs> I said, they what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, they're talking about us. And I was like, what they saying? He said, I'm going to send you the link. Just listen to it. So um, I thought it was, I, I mean, it wasn't anything negative no. that I was saying. So I, I was like, okay, cool. And I love the segue into bringing that into the conversation yeah uh, so I and the really friend cool. that he's referring to is the one that Blake was tonguing down and molesting in the corner y'all yeah. oh stop I see yeah, that video yeah <laughs> I got video too <laughs> do you really I do oh yeah. my god the room had their phones out oh <laughs> <laughs> baby yeah. she was putting on the show from we, got, she we, the from the we got fans <laughs> From the lap dance to the kiss. I got Man, we got there. <laughs> that was pure <door> marketing. <laughs> so, Javante, what does your dating and sex life look like at the moment? Are you mm. actively doing either? Um, <laughs> I'm hanging out with somebody. Oh, okay. Uh, I like to use hanging out. I'm still, like, technically single. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I'm hanging out with someone that we enjoy each other's company, travel together. Oh, travel. Um, How long y'all been hanging out? out? Well... So we have been friends for the last five to six years, mm. um, and then our friendship kind of transitioned to a different space probably about nine months ago. We have amazing chemistry and, and energy, and we get along well. We can just be together, and everything is just... So now y'all been hanging yeah. out for nine months, and y'all still ain't got no title? No. So... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a great question. It's a valid question. So um, I require certain things mm-hmm. um, in a relationship and I and he knows that and um, and as I'm sure that he does as well but um, he I don't feel like he's in that mental space okay to commit 100 I feel like he's 90% there but he ain't there 100 so why not make a break for it you said because, break for it yeah why not make a break if you if you guys if you feel that you're on uneven uneven playing fields mm-hmm. and it's well, let them people do what they want to okay. do. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> now you got so much to say. Okay, so now we're going to play this little game called Dig in My Sack. So I have this cute little sack here oh. made by Christian Louboutin. And it has some questions in it. So we want you to pull out four questions. And read and them all. And read answer. them and answer them. Four. So, yes. One by one, though. Or two by one. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> two by one. <laughs> You can read it out. Okay, so. um, who's on this panel do you think would most likely appear in a porno? Well, since I... Oh my bitch! God. <laughs> First of all, let me tell you, the shade is Tavares wrote these fucking questions. We didn't know about these questions. <laughs> no, no, no. And we that nasty know about the Go ahead. I'm going to knock the I'm, wall. I'm pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> we already know where that's going. I don't know nothing. Go ahead. Um... So, since I am a fan of the show, (laughs) and I have heard previous uh, episodes, I definitely think Blake (laughs) would. It sounds like you have some home videos already. (laughs) So, so, I mean, they may just get leaked on my Vista. (laughs) You do have a home video at this table. (laughs) We're not visual. Raise it. I read my hand. I don't have any. You don't record this? I promise I don't have not You've one. never done it or you deleted it? I've you never, I've always wanted to. I, I, don't, I don't have, have any. any. Oh, wow. I mean, I, yeah. Oh, Tavares, well, I guess it's oh, just next us. question. Yes. Oh. Next it's just Blake up. and Tavares. <laughs> <laughs> in, case, in case y'all need a clarity. Right. <laughs> I think they got it. <laughs> What's the uh, do you, Yeah. Yeah, really? Uh, do you know the last name of the last person you slept with? Oh, my God. Do I have to say that? No. no. Don't say uh, the last name. Do you? But yeah, yeah. If no. you want to say it, you can say it. I mean, he's kind of in a kind of committed situation. So. <laughs> he said he's single. Committed, not committed. Yeah, we're both single. That's just give them. They just want an out. So if you go on a date with somebody else, you have to tell them? 
No. Okay. Next question. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, doggy or missionary? Oh. <laughs> um. This is. It, it depends. <laughs> it definitely depends. He's versatile, ladies and gentlemen. Thank That's you. Are you I'm getting to? Oh, you yeah. know that. Wow. I'm getting, he likes the top doggy. He likes the bottom missionary. It just depends. It depends. No, he likes it the bottom. It still all depends. On the oh. side. It all. Yeah. For those it, that can't see, Javante is very cakey, y'all. Uh, wow. And he also got a lot of meat or something going on in the front. <laughs> oh <of me>. my <laughs> god. <laughs> he is very oh. I guess. To the guy who's. Talking to him, I didn't see either of those. Things. I didn't either. I was not looking. No I disrespect, and I'll be looking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for Jesus. Let's just say that. Um, free pass. Ask a cast member any question. Mm. Oh Lord. Hmm. Well, he's not already picked on me, so. Well, I know. So ask Aprian. Oh God. She gonna ask what she wanna ask. <laughs> <laughs> My pronoun is he. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we sure did. Um, what was your worst sexual experience? Who are you talking to? You. As a Tavares. Uh, no. Tavares. <laughs> My worst so sexual man. experience. Hmm. I've had so many. Um, the most, well, not most recent, the one that comes to mind, not bad sexual experience, but I remember I was fucking this one guy on his back and his feet were so ashy when he put them on my shoulder. I oh my God. Like the heels of his feet was like crusting in my Gross. Are you chest. serious? Yeah. Like where it needs to be scraped? Like yeah, with a scraper? That. And he didn't have socks on? Oh no. my God. I don't like disgusting. socks on in the bed. I like everything off. See, so you care what you ask for. <laughs> <laughs> what you ask for. Was Jesus. that the last question in there? That was. Oh, you said okay. four. Yeah. Yeah. Four, okay, four. cool. So for those that don't know, Javante works in public health. Mm-hmm. So I also want him on here to kind of sit in on some questions that I might have about STDs and stuff or whatever like that. So what aspect of public health do you actually work in? Um, I do HIV testing. Oh, okay, cool. And linkage to care um, and counseling. Oh, okay. And how long have you been doing that? Eight years. Mm. Wow. Oh, okay. Nice. That's, that's, yeah, that's amazing. So we talk a lot of, about sex here, but not a lot about <laughs> STDs, which is a very real thing. So since, like, PrEP has come out, what kind of changes have you noticed in HIV? Like, has it went down dramatically? No. No? No. Oh, wow. No. no. Um, so I think... Um, and yet again, this is everything is from my perspective, yeah. not like a you know factual, but from my um, my experience and from what I've been seeing, um, a lot of people are not really educating themselves on prep, mm-hmm. and some people are not taking it as frequently as they're supposed to. Day, You're supposed right. to take it every day, and some people are taking it right before they're going to have an encounter. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. Some people may miss a couple of doses, um, and for it to be as effective, you have to be adherent to it. Mm-hmm. So, um, so yeah. So no, I definitely, I um, uh, the rate of HIV has not dropped um, since prep has been out. From my understanding, mm-hmm. um, there are still a high rate of HIV new newly diagnosed people with HIV. Um, and then also, of course, STDs. Yeah. Because people feel like... So STDs are like skyrocketing now. Because, yeah. Uh, I believe that. Yeah. And probably stronger strains. There's something called super gonorrhea now yeah. that's going around. Um, so yeah. Yeah, STDs definitely... But I mean, people have been having condomless sex for forever. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. prep is just an excuse now to, for them mm-hmm. to... We all got it. here on condomless sex. Okay. So have you ever had to deliver <laughs> a positive status to someone? Oh, yeah. And what is that like? Oh, yeah. Um... Is it like traumatic for you or just kind of like whatever? You, you know, I said the day that I'm so disattached to her, it does not affect me. It may need, be the day that I need to stop doing what I do. So it's very emotional, it's safe to say. Every yeah. time you have to deliver that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And do they normally like break down and then you have to give them counseling? It's different cases. So um, there's cases like that or, well, that to where like they know or they have idea. Um, there's cases to where I have someone that was date raped. Um, mm, did somebody wow. um, drop something in a drink and um, 
yeah, so that happened, and they I was talking them into the courage of just getting the test done, and I so badly wanted to tell them, like, the test is negative, they can go on and live mm-hmm. their life, mm-hmm. and try to get over that part of it, as far as the date rate yeah. part, but to have to give that positive result was, tr- oh you know, just oh crazy. Um, and then... Um, and then also someone that was like cheated on. So different, different yeah. stories, different scenarios. Mm-hmm. It different. It depends. And then some people that's like, I know I've been putting this off, but I know what it is. Mm-hmm. I know what I did. I know who I did it with. I know their status. I just need to either confirm it so I can be linked into care. Right. So mm-hmm. those people were. That of course is a little easier because the the mindset that or the headspace that they're in. So yeah. oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just gonna say, do you find that more common than not that people now in 2018 that they just look at it like I know what I did, mm-hmm. I know who I did it with, what's up? Like mm-hmm. I need I need this to be taken care of so I can move on. Let's get treated. Blah blah blah. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> so I feel like yeah, when you see like um, I would say like 25 and, and up. Um, that has been doing you know the thing and, and not being safe with it and knowing what they have done mm-hmm. yeah but when it comes to like the babies like 25 and four, like 24 yeah. and younger and they're naive so, yeah, it's yeah. just oh, like yeah. or and not really educated on what they do and it's yeah. just like yeah because I just find I, I feel like the older you get the more accepting I, I guess you would become in those type of situations um, if you if you know that you are, I guess maybe yes. it comes with maturity. You know yeah, that you're yeah, out there. Yeah. Like, right. I, okay, I know I'm out there. Right. I know I've been caring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 I feel yeah, like yeah, even yeah. if you've been doing what you're supposed to do in the situations, then you go get tested. It's still nerve wracking. Oh yeah, I think, oh, yeah. every yeah, time. I think, I think every time. For me, um, every time. I think. I think <laughs> I think I still um, I still get very mm-hmm. even very if you ain't did that in the last six yep. months or whatever it's like right. well, it's good before then you know what if it's just now popping up you know it, yeah when is the last time y'all got tested oh good Ooh. question uh, right before I got my last um, re-up on my because I get my my um, prep my tava- oh, yeah, Travada right. um, mm-hmm. I get that every six months and I get it like mailed to me and all of that oh, yeah. okay. so um, right before my last re-up for that so that had to been May, I think, was the last time I was tested. Mm-hmm. I don't know the date, but I test myself. <clears throat> oh, yeah. oh, do you really? Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of kid ass. Well, I mean, I'm guessing he does it for free. Well, can I just say this? I, 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 my when I lived in D.C. Uh, back home, I had a roommate who worked for an agency, mm-hmm. and he would bring home the test kits. I don't know if you were allowed to do that, no. but he would bring them home, <laughs> <laughs> the instant yeah. ones. And I used to always every like couple yeah. weeks. I, I was doing like every couple of weeks because oh, mm, so yeah, I just wait. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasted tests. <laughs> <chance. laughs> no, but yeah, but I would I would do the I would do the I think it was a sw- one time he had the swabs, another time mm-hmm. we had like the the prick. Finger print. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, I can't prick myself. Yeah. I'd be too mm-hmm. scared. I know. I, I, I could never be a like a I have diabetes. Yeah. I could never. Oh my god. Who uh, who else here is on prep? Are you on prep? No. Nope. No. I've been a, on it for a while. I was a part of a um like a prep campaign when they were like trying to like shop the idea out yeah. to different communities and mm-hmm. get people like the buzz going or whatever. Um yes. So why did you opt out of it? You Well, I I didn't I it was more so to bring awareness to it, not to actually right. take it. Um I feel like then there was, uh, uh, or even there now. was a lot of people that were um, that were um, um, the side effects. They kept like pushing the side effects, and I feel like it was almost like like scaring people oh, as yeah. far as the side effects. And everybody, you know, body reacts different. I have side mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, and a lot. Everybody I knew that was starting to take it was like. Stomach ache for like two weeks or really? bad diarrhea and mm-hmm. all kinds of I didn't of have stuff. any of that. I only had it for the first week. <clears throat> and yeah, I didn't have any of that, actually. I, my <clears throat> only side... Well, I did have like diarrhea like the first two or three days. Mm-hmm. My only side effects, um, and I still have it to this day, is I... Um, I always have to pee a lot. Mm-hmm. Really? And, and in the middle of the night. Like in the middle of the night, oh, wow. every... Every other day, I would say it's not always consistent, but I'll wake up in the middle of the night and have to pee. And when I pee, it's like that long mm-hmm. strain, like that mm-hmm. long. You're still standing there at the toilet, like <laughs> it's still going, and, it's still going. <laughs> and, it, and it happens. And sometimes I'm, I'll be in sleep and I'll wake up out of my sleep. I you know that's from the print. I know it. I talked to my doctor, and oh. that's what they said. Do you? Um, um, but he said it? he. My doctor told me I should probably try to take it at a different time because I usually take oh. it right after I eat at mm-hmm. night. Right. I'll take it in the morning. In. He, that's what he told me. He said I might want to think about taking it. Oh, you're it taking it. Time. Yeah, I'm taking it too. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Why haven't you got on it, Blake? Oh, I tried it. Like I did like a trial for a little piece of time and got off of it. Or, you know, like he said, you mm-hmm. missed the dosage and you yeah. kind of sort of have to start all over again. Yeah. And never just really started over again. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, since we the only two on it, like, does that make you have unprotected sex more? Since you aren't prepped? Um, just being straight up, being as transparent as I can, yes. Uh, I'm not sexually active right now. I haven't been um, since July, but prior to that... Uh, I was I was I, I felt like um, I'm not gonna catch the thing you know right. what I'm saying so you know if I really really like somebody and I'm really into them and they're open to it I'm gonna be open to it because mm-hmm. I'm not just taking mm-hmm. these pills just for just fun yeah. God you must like a lot of people um, <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up Blake. first of all you ain't gotta explain that I'm not I'm gonna explain it to the listeners First of all, uh, no, but 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 in all honesty, um, my doctor said with people who bought them, they recommend that you take them right. faster than a lot of other people. And uh, I was date, I was dealing with somebody who I didn't a hundred percent trust. Mm. Uh, I was in love, but I didn't mm, trust, trust them. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I just wanted to make sure I was covered. Yeah. Um, mm. And I wasn't all the way covered, but I was covered. Mm. I didn't yeah. get a thing. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So for everybody else, like, what percentage of the time would you say that you have unprotected sex? Me? Oh, everybody. oh yeah. I'll probably say ten percent. <laughs> said me. Ten percent unprotected. Ten percent unprotected. Oh. Yeah, I actually prefer sex with protection. Although there might be like this misconception because we always talk about unprotected sex because mm-hmm. that's the, you know, the thing to talk about. Mm-hmm. I prefer protected sex because I feel like it feels better. Really. Wow. Yeah, oh. I like the. I guess it depends um, on the condom. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. The condom. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I like one, well, then I like rough sex. Oh, oh. so <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, you know, you have, like okay, so like if you're having unprotected sex, you don't get as much friction, right? Mm-hmm. And I like it rough. I like the frictions. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't know where we're going. Because I'm, like, I'm thinking the rubber burning, like take no. it off. Mm-mm. I'm pain not mad at y'all, by the way. Honey, I don't care what you say, y'all. Pain is pleasure. Can you make me shed a tear, smack my ass, have, grab my neck, have me come in everywhere? I'm a freak, so I don't care. Lil Kim. Lil Kim. Oh, that sounds that sound like Lil mm-hmm. Kim. Uh, what about you, Devante? Are you on your boo using condoms? Yes. Yes. Nice. So, You're so responsible. Time. That's so good. Like, Bitch, you bought from him, but you didn't buy from me. Off, me. <laughs> well, I don't want to come off like I'm just like a brew. Like I just yeah. don't do yeah, anything yeah. because I work. You let us not work. Like, like wow, wow. Hold <laughs> on. That's why he be testing himself. Wow. <laughs> if the no. condom was going off all the time, he was not gonna be pricking his finger in that Wait man by himself. A minute. He'd be like, "Oh, it was a rough <laughs> night last night. Let me check." <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna check again in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Have any of you guys ever gotten burned or caught an STD? Mm-hmm. I've been fortunate. Oh, fortunate to catch one? To not, bitch. Oh. <laughs> uh, Why did I know you were gonna look at me like that? I'll answer. I, I guess I'll answer first. Uh, this was the question that I was. I had some reservations about. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I have, um, and it's going to come as a shock to some people who I know that are listening. But I did. I um, my last relationship, um, we decided maybe about seven or eight months in that um, we would be unprotected, and so we were. And I felt different. One day I just woke up and I felt something was going on down there. I didn't know what it was. I just felt like this weird sensation and down you here. Your butt on your penis. Like in my actually it was in my like testicles. Like oh. I felt this weird Oh really? Wow. Like I felt this weird like tingling, pulsating sensation. And I was just like, what is that? Like what is what is that? Mm-hmm. And I went to the doctors, I got tested, and then they told me that I had chlamydia. Mm-hmm. And um, so I went home and I told him, I said, look, I got chlamydia, chlamydia and you're the only person I've been with. So, mm-hmm. like, I, I'm just too old to be getting fucking yeah. STDs. What the fuck is going on? So he went and he got tested. He, he had it, too. So he came with the story like, oh, I know how I got it. I got it. Somebody was sucking my dick and I knew. And, blah, blah, blah. and I was just like, I don't even care. You burnt me, and I feel some type yeah. of way, and I gave him that whole guilt for, like, a couple weeks and everything like that. Um, you stayed with him after that? I did. 
I, I, <laughs> you know what? Because I, I, I love hard, and I, I said that before, so... I felt like I was I honestly was a mess prior to meeting him. So mm. it could have been I mean, it wasn't me. I, I didn't give it to him, but I just felt in my mind like, you know, it what if it would have happened to me and mm. I would have gave it to him, would I want him to leave me? No. Did you start so, using condoms with him after that? Or no? Um, we did not. After that we both got tested. We waited our like ten days before mm. we had sex with each other and then we just promised each other to be one hundred at mm. all times and we did I, I didn't catch anything else from him after that we were good until we broke up so yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. well I do have a story mm-hmm. now that you read <laughs> oh now that we heated to his no no no, it's not, no it, well it's gonna be something like that but not like that <clears throat> not what you think it's gonna be bitch no. uh, <laughs> I was dating a guy and he actually got tested positive or he tested positive for chlamydia and he came to me and told me hey you know what I tested positive for chlamydia and I was like, well, that's weird because I don't have chlamydia. Um, but, you know, I do know because I'm, you know, I try to, I try, I like to think that I'm very educated about, like, you know, sex and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I know that it could be dormant in me being the bottom. Like, right. maybe I could be asymptomatic. Yes. I got tested. I didn't have chlamydia. So how, but that led to us not being together anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm, Damn. Yeah. I got burned before. Well, I think I shared that story. Um, last season, but the first time, because it happened a couple times, um, I woke up horny or whatever, and I went to jack off, and it was all blood that came out. What? Yeah, my, my balls were that. swollen. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. What and, is that? Uh, it was chlamydia and gonorrhea. Oh. Like, they treat you for both, but it's yeah. whatever. So, um, I asked him, like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I, ain't, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> and it was my birthday, actually. Oh, no. My little birthday, Jack off and that, whatever. <laughs> 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 so, and I was so naive I was just like I don't even know what he told me but I stayed too and um, a couple of weeks after that one of my good friends at the time we used to talk like every night or whatever he disappeared for like two weeks so I said well bitch where you been he talking about oh I was in the hospital and I made a joke I was like you up there fucking with the dirty dicks huh he said bitch I caught gonorrhea in my throat he oh almost my god. died oh my god oh, his throat really? was up and he couldn't breathe they had to like puncture something oh like mm. a treat almost. yeah it was what? like crazy so yeah, Jeez. it's no joke out there. No okay, <laughs> sheesh. Have you guys ever openly dated someone that was HIV positive? Oh yeah, I'm oh, really? Mm-hmm. I haven't openly. We haven't dated, but I've like talked to guys. Mm-hmm. But it all. I find it always goes awry when, like, they like. I feel like they always end up being crazy. Why? Really? I don't know. It's just something. They just all have that crazy thing in common. I I um. I've, mm-hmm. I've always been open to it mm-hmm. and I've always anybody that I met if they come first of all I love when a man just comes out and tells you what's good mm-hmm. and he mm-hmm. you know a couple of times I've, I've talked to guys and they'll just say hey listen I'm positive mm-hmm. I've been undetectable for this amount of time mm-hmm. I take care of myself and they're normally more healthier mm-hmm. than most of the people that yep. you meet mm-hmm. you know when you're out dating and stuff like that so I'm open to it I don't know if I can't think I can't pinpoint a time that I dated somebody that uh, that I knew was, mm-hmm. but I'm a hundred percent sure I've dated people who were. Oh well, we yeah. all dated sex with people, yeah. and I think that's yeah. that's probably where the comfort lies is is the comfort lies in the knowing. Mm-hmm. Like I don't have to guess. I know yeah. what precautions yeah. need to be taken. Yeah, exactly. And it was such a too. it was such a stigma, mm-hmm. um, you know, back then, and then especially, and I always I always go back to my like my, my ballroom past because. I feel like ballroom mm. is just a magnified version of the gay life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so in ballroom, everyone is kind of like a celebrity. Mm-hmm. So if you have that, you know what I'm saying? If you are positive, it's magnified to this big thing because now all these people know your your uh, uh, you know your tea. Got it. And now because it's such a big thing and everybody is a fan of you and they know mm-hmm. that you're HIV positive, anybody that you date mm-hmm. uh, or likes you or whatever is now associated with being mm-hmm. HIV positive. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like, do we even like care anymore? By association. Who? Yeah. About if someone is positive because of prep and stuff, would you oh, date someone now who's positive? I think for for me, I, I think would. for us out here in LA, I don't think that we put so much 
stigma on it. Yeah. 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 I, feel, yeah, yeah. I feel like there there are some people that that, that does still put stigma on stigma. I think that's a maturity thing too. But yeah, mm-hmm. oh for sure mm-hmm. for sure. And and yeah. education. And so education. if you know uh if you know how to protect yourself and you know about the virus and things of that nature, there's really nothing to be fearful of because you know how to protect yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. And there are tools like prep that you can explore mm-hmm. or a condom mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean there are things that you can do um, oh <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that I said I like rough sex <laughs> I'm gonna regret that later <laughs> but um, but yeah I mean I, um, I have definitely dated people that um, were HIV positive um, and it was it has never been an issue for me and it probably could, could be because um, the line of work that I'm in right. to where mm-hmm. I've kind of know the ins and outs of it and you know but one thing I will recommend if someone um, is a someone that's HIV positive I would recommend them um, going to their doctor's appointment with them because yeah. one thing I right. have noticed is uh, people it's like oh well I'm HIV positive I'm undetectable yeah so what they, you know so everybody like, ain't so they think, exactly. Yeah, ex- that's exactly. what everybody on Jack say oh I'm positive I'm undetectable. undetectable yeah to where that means that they're in, <laughs> yeah. adhering to their medication mm-hmm. and they're viral load they're virally suppressed and they're under 20 uh, count of 20 so I would recommend them going to the doctor the, them giving consent that you could be in a room the doctor sharing certain information but even then continuously use condoms right. or you may be exploring the option of prep and things of that nature um, just in case of maybe the kind of break or whatever case. But how you, hard is it to to get to undetectable status once you're diagnosed? Is that a common you, thing? If you are, I don't even think it's that hard. It's really. not that hard as long as you're. I, so people race. could be very well telling the truth. Yeah. yeah oh yeah 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 yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. But you can very well go from undetectable as well if you're not adhering to your medication. Just like you not taking prep regularly, mm. you're not really protected if you're not taking. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So Blake got I, his hand up. Right. <laughs> How easy or hard is it to transmit the virus if you're undetectable? It is very the the, I heard the it chances very is very it's like almost slim to none. Mm-hmm. I heard it was very well, hard. I, well, I knew yes. that I wanted that yeah. question yes. to be heard. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know the percentage it. off of my head, but it's only like slim mm-hmm. to none to transmit the virus. Um if you're und- undetectable, yeah. mm-hmm. and especially if you're undetectable, and the the person that's HIV negative is adhering to their medication of being uh, on prep, mm-hmm. it's just like okay, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you think it's still a stigma around people who are talking talking about the facts of sex and not just what they want to do to you? Like for instance, if I get with somebody, ninety nine percent of the time mm-hmm. they're not going to ask me to pull out a condom or even ask me my status. If oh yeah, I don't say oh yeah, about oh yeah. I you know, and this is. <laughs> I had this conversation with a couple people before. Um, so, as far as like, I feel like it's just as important for someone that's HIV negative to ask someone their status as much as it may be. It yeah, is it's, it's, I'm for saying someone the, to the conversation. Status. Period. People don't. Yeah, have yeah, it. yeah. And it's it's not had. Mm-hmm. And is is. But what there. is that? Like why? Why? You tell why us, Javar. Yeah, why that's, a, that's a good question. I always I have that conversation. Have you never tell us what percentage you always of have raw it. sex you have. You didn't ask me, huh? Do what you? percentage <laughs> of raw sex you have, ho? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a question. Do you... Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the double one. Yeah, 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 wait, because now I'm gonna forget it. <laughs> Do you have that that um, that conversation? Uh, okay, let me back it up. I've I've been in situations in a situation um, where the conversation we me and this person had the conversation prior to having sex. Mm-hmm. They, however, forgot that we had this conversation. We had had that conversation like weeks before we had sex. Mm. What's the conversation? Are you and, and I'm getting to it. And the conversation was, uh, oh, okay, like after it's said and done. Oh, um, like what's your status? They like, always ask after. So my thing is, why do we as men ask after? Mm-hmm. Nigga, you done been up in me, or yeah. I done been up in you. Because that's where they hit is that being up in you. So now you can about yo your they status. They like I deal with the consequences. And it, yeah, and then it's yeah, like oh nut. yeah, yeah. It's like okay, well yeah, because we we don't think. I like yeah. to play therapist after, even if I participated in something that ain't so good. <laughs> I'd be like, what, what you mean therapist? No, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> No, 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 no,
like, I'd be like, why you let me do you like that? Oh, you say oh. that? Yeah, <laughs> Tavares. <laughs> I mean, like for real, like okay, so what was it about me? You gonna let me do that? Or are you doing this for everybody? Why do you ask that question? And then he yeah. could ask the same thing to you. He could, right. but I'd be wanting to know. Is it an ego boost or like? No, I just really want to know. Like, you want to know if he let everybody nut at him? Show this for sure. <laughs> well, okay. okay. Hey. Then there was that. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys know anyone in your immediate circle that's positive? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then what kind of conversations do they have with you about how it is to date? Um, one one thing, one of my best friends actually, we were just talking the other day and he celebrated 10 years of being positive and undetectable. Mm-hmm. And he told me that um he he feels like he always comes across a man that he feels like he could spend the rest of his life with, mm-hmm. but then he has to have that conversation. Yeah, he come and across them often as somebody you want to be with forever. I mean, he's a looker, so oh, I, I can damn. I can I can see that. And um, and for him, he says that it's always a reality check for him, and it brings him down to a perspective where he doesn't feel like he may be worthy enough for these people that he mm-hmm. meets. So he's always like, damn, wow. at some point I'm going to have to tell them that I'm positive, but I'm probably, once they see that, then I'm going to, they're going to look at me like a, like a dirty. I was just like about to say that. Or whatever. I was just about to say it. It's, yeah. uh, it's, it's the dreading of the disclosing, I think, um, for most HIV positive people mm-hmm. to where like, even, I mean, I have had clients that have asked like, you know, how am I supposed to have this conversation with people? You know, it's like, first of all, deal process what you're going through and yeah. deal with that later. But it is something that you definitely have to deal with. And um, it, I feel like you have to um, own it. You have to step into your new norm yeah. and say, this is who I am now. And who who's meant for you will be with you no matter what your mm-hmm. status is, no matter whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. So... I, I do see that being the most common thing to where like some people would like choose to step away or remove themselves from something that's really great and amazing because mm-hmm. they're afraid of the outcome. Yeah, they don't even they don't even <clears throat> disclose because they're like I'm afraid of yeah. what's going to come after that, mm-hmm. and I would rather just you know walk away from it. I know a lot of people who are positive who, well, I would say two or three of them. I was like. Kind of around when they got the diagnosis or mm-hmm. whatever, and when they first started dating. Mm-hmm. So they would be like, you know, I would tell people up front, and then they would ghost me, mm-hmm. and then go tell my business to everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh my that's what? Another, yeah, that's yeah, that's and then big. they would become like severely depressed, and yeah. oh, they just stop God. giving a fuck, and then they yeah. start being spiteful and really going out having raw yeah. sex, trying oh to get other God. people infected because Sheesh. they didn't want to be oh. feeling like I'm dealing with this. I think so. I uh, you brought up a very key point. I think um, that's. Part of the reason why a lot of people don't disclose right away because they can be oh they can become okay with it to an extent but they don't want their business out there to right. everybody they're, they're not ready to like talk about it with everybody else or share with everyone mm-hmm. and if you share it with the wrong person right. L A is not that big right. <laughs> you know okay. Okay. <laughs> and everybody would know your okay. business and it's not something you know it's not everybody's business it's right. the person that you engage into sex with if you you know. That's between But how y'all. soon would you want to know individually? If when would you want someone to tell you? Before sex. Like before we get in the bed or before like at what point? First date, second date? No but date. You know we don't go on dates. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give you a little <laughs> You sound so fucking dumb. Um, before we meet up and hang out, not, I mean, like if we're if it's a casual sexual encounter before we meet up and hang out. I uh, my last actual my last sexual encounter, uh, we were coming back from the club, mm-hmm. and um, he was staying with me. He's out here visiting. And we were both in the bathroom just talking, like brushing our teeth and just getting ready for bed. And right then and there and right, you know, like it was right before we had sex and we were sitting in the bathroom. And he said, hey, I'm positive. He said it just like that. He's like, mm-hmm. I just have to tell you that before we mm-hmm. go there. And I was like, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. And that was that. And, yeah. you know, and, and, and we had sex that night Period. and it was it was cool. Like it was. You sucked this dick. Um, Why does that matter? Okay. Because I'm asking him. <laughs> 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 how freaky, how 
freaky bitch you been with, man. No, I don't think I don't think that I don't think that we did, but um we that's the only person that I have ever like uh like flip flop with. Mm. And um he's my son. You gonna do what the who? <laughs> well, he's, well, he's, well, he's like my height, my size, yeah. and all of that, and that's a turn on for me. Mm. Um, so that's probably the only time I ever really do like the whole flip flop thing. If I'm, she say she gonna do what to who? <laughs> so, yeah. Now and see. And so yeah, so we 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 did each other and we had a good what? time. What? Nice. When I was living in Atlanta, I, I had two close encounters with HIV. So I was dealing with two different boys within the same kind of. Two or three months or whatever. At the same time. Let's mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> say from, from July to September time span. So this one guy. Same time. This one guy I met, and um, you know we had agreed to be little fuck buddies and whatever. And he was born with diabetes, so he had to wear like one of those. He wore like something I never seen, which was like, like a, a colostomy bag. No, like a, oh my um, god, like a battery operated pack that would test his blood. Oh, day, like every he few was hours. Very. Diabetic. Yeah, he wore like a thing, so he had to get tested every three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we was good. We was fucking and stuff. And then I had started a new job. Wait, how does sex happen? We don't skate past that way. Just act like it's a tattoo. It's oh. right above. And it's like oh, a machine. Shit. It's just a little box, like a little. You were beating like, hard enough. You <laughs> should have beat the battery out that box. Wake up, sugar low. And um, boy, wearing this boy all the way out. Okay. Let me tell my story. No, anyway, I had started a new job, and the training was like intense for like two weeks, so I didn't see him. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to meet up with him the next time, Spirit was talking to me, Mm -hmm. and I was like, "Mm -mm, something, something, something something right. So I was asking him, like, you know, have you been messed with anybody else? And he was like, no. So. Long story short, that was the last time we chilled because something just told me to leave him alone. Okay. So, about a month and a half later, he called me and was like, oh, I just got my results back. I'm positive. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Mind you, when we before we met, he had just gotten tested, tested literally. Oh, my goodness. And uh, I was like, okay. Like, I'm good. So, who you been with? And he was like, oh, I did mess with one other person while we stopped. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? While you was busy. I'm like, yeah, I felt that, too. Yeah. So, then there was another guy that I dealt with around that time. I actually let him get on my back. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> you are so shady. <laughs> you are so shady. You said that like that was like such a surprise. Oh, girl. Ooh. It was definitely a privilege. Well, but anyway... No. <laughs> oh, so, um... He, he gave me some dick or whatever. It was cute. <laughs> and, um... Uh, I haven't asked him to come back over, but he was like... <laughs> is, is this- Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped No, Is this one out of the four? <laughs> this is the I'm a listener, baby. <laughs> I'm a listener. <laughs> so um, I was trying to get him to come back, and I guess he wasn't coming over. So one day he hit me, and it was like September or whatever, and uh, he was like, I'm positive. That's why I haven't came back around. And I was freaking out. Like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't nut at me or nothing. But mm-hmm. both of those things happened within a month with those two people. And I was mm-hmm. like, I need to get up out of here. Wow. I'm doing Atlanta. Get up out of Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta will do it. <laughs> <laughs> or any other place. Or any other place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, do you guys do drugs? Hell no. Like, have you ever tried coke? Pills, Marijuana. Meth. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, no judgment though. No, no judgment. Mm-hmm. Weed, of course, and I don't really feel like weed is a drug, but uh, I, I've tried weed, I've tried e pills, and I've tried Molly, oh, and okay. that's it. I, I haven't gone. What's the difference between e and Molly? No, I've never done coke because uh, I, I'll tell you, I come from a very um, addictive mm-hmm. family. And my dad, um, since I was like four years old, my dad had, had been on and off of um, like heroin and stuff. Oh, so wow. mm. I just feel like if I was to, to try Coke, I'd probably love it too much. Mm. So, yeah. Is it Molly, Coke, heroin? It's like a mixture. It's like, yeah. it's, like, <clears throat> it's like a cocktail drug. Mm. Um, and when I did, when I, tr- I had one, pill, one Molly um, at Coachella last year. And prior to that, I had an, an e-pill in my Atlanta days. And um, how did you feel like Superman? Huh? Yes, let me tell you, my E pill. I feel like I had the most amazing night of my life ever. 
Nothing really? can ever top that night. And it probably was a regular Wednesday night somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, <laughs> but for me, my friend, I remember we were on a dance floor in in Atlanta at this club, and my friend just popped it in my mouth. And mm. I remember when it kicked in, everything was amazing to me. Every guy near us, mm. I swear I grabbed so many niggas. <laughs> they could have been with their niggas. I was so high and out of it, I didn't care. So I would like yeah. grab niggas up and I would get them that look like, what's up? Yeah, yeah. But you don't know because you're in your mind. Everything is great and everybody's mm, having a good yeah, time and everybody yeah. likes you as much as you mm. like them. Right. I didn't so, have such yeah. of a positive experience. But there's two ways to it because there's, yeah. also, there's, there's also a bad trick. Or if you yeah. take half a pill and not I, one. Yeah, that's, so I took a half of a pill, like. What you feel like we talking? Uh, Molly, I think. Okay. Okay. So, did, did so I did. I did the trip? weed, and I did. Did have, you have a bad trip? So you yeah. felt like people were talking about well, you, okay. and you felt like there. Yep. 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 That's okay, it. No yeah. Deal. So okay. My, my Molly. <laughs> my first Molly pill. My, my only Molly pill. But my my Molly pill. I felt like that. Like okay. you feel like. Yeah. Well, let him tell his story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I already know where you're going. Yeah. The, so I um I remember uh, my friend told me like I could drink as much as I want off the pill and I did I was scared to take like muscle relaxers mess me up so I'm like okay I don't know how I'm about to act off of this Molly mm-hmm. so I did half of a pill and we were drinking Sky Vodka and we went to the Catch One do you know what the Catch One oh, is? Yeah. Yeah. hey okay Ooh, that's old school yes so we went to the Catch mind you um, I was like I think 18, I had just lost the job that I was working at, whatever. So I was already, like, depressed. And so I was like, oh, I, that's, yeah. that's when you're depressed. Yeah, and that's what it said, like, it enhances. It intensifies. Yeah. De- yes, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you, so, you got depressed when you took the pill? Let me, I wasn't supposed to go to the club. So I, t- I took the pill. I started drinking. We were drinking Sky Vodka and Cran Grape. And... Oh. I went to the club. This is how you know it was must have been hot. I had a white beater on, some sweats, and some flip flops. <laughs> thong flip flops to the club. Thong flip flops. I mean, well, it was the catch ones. So. Because wow, don't do the catch. <laughs> he was. <won. laughs> <laughs> so I, I, um, I was, I was lit. Um, I remember going down to the gazebo and I talked to my friends mm-hmm. and I was telling them like. I just can't believe this is a whole job thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. And some girls behind me were laughing. Mm. And I thought they was laughing at me. Yep. And I turned around and I just was going off. My friends trying to hold me back. My flip flop breaks. They really laughing at oh me. My God. Now, and yeah. now I'm ready to fight the whole gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready to pop off on the no. whole gazebo. And security escorted me right out the side to the point where I. What's the difference between Molly and ecstasy? I thought those were the same I thing. I don't know the difference. I, I you know what? It. Someone asked me before, and I honestly, I don't know. Oh, okay. I I'm going to go, I'm I go they, on record and say they're the same thing. Yeah, I know that e pills <laughs> <Okay>. were first. <laughs> Yeah, E-pills. I think there, it's just a nickname. Yeah, E pills were first, and then Molly came like a couple mm-hmm. years later. Now, last question about. No, no, Tavares. Mm-hmm. Have you no, ever taken any drugs? Life. No. Only edibles and weed. I'm scared to do anything. <sighs> me too. And I also have addiction that runs in my family too. So. Yeah. And I have an addictive personality. Yeah, me too. So I've been sold my TV. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> everything. <laughs> um, meth is really big out here in California mm-hmm. especially with oh. you know black young boys and stuff like that mm-hmm. it's, yeah. so do you think um, like say somebody's on a, a medicine that keeps them undetectable or prep does any chemical drugs counteract that to make it not work hmm that's a good question. That's a very good question. A, yeah, actually, I'm sure I it would pro- imagine so too. Yeah, because I, mean, I feel like it breaks down your immune you, system. Thank you, taking all the words on my mouth. You got the expert right here. <laughs> yeah. but, but I would imagine because it the medication is um, designed to strengthen your mm-hmm. immune system or help it. So I would imagine that you um, putting these things into your body that's going to fight oh, fight it. Yeah, yeah. Right. So like, yeah. I would imagine so, but I don't. I don't know factually. Yeah, right. Yeah. So a few months ago, Mm-mm. offline, we were having a conversation about, um, you know, sex partners and how many we've had and so on oh and so forth. God. Four now. I right. heard that one. So six and sharing how many you share with your partner. Yeah. So how many guys on average do you think a thirty-year-old man has been with? Like, what's the average number you think the average gay man? Uncount. Statistically. Gay? Just gay. 
I don't think it's countable. I don't think so either. Really? Mm-mm. If you had to throw a number, you like a hundred. I don't. Well, you count how many men you've been with? Well yeah. over a hundred. I we over hundred. Done that. How many? Four. <laughs> okay. No. He said four question. is the story. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl. So well over a hundred is average for a thirty-year-old man. I don't. I, if we being realistic, yeah, absolutely. In how promiscuous gay men are, just like we've really been honest, yeah. mm-hmm. especially in our our earlier years of like really stepping to this is what we doing and mm-hmm. yeah. Mm. Do you know how many men you've been with? Ooh. That's a good question. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know um, how many I've been with you. Not how many, but how, do you know? Do you keep track? I don't keep track, but I can count. I can go back to each encounter. Can can they, you give them all a name? Are you in double digits or triple? He in triple. I'm not in triple, but I'm in double. High doubles. <laughs> <laughs> you not in? I'm twenty seven. Oh. I have lived. He ain't all the way there yet. Sha, he got bad cat if he ain't in triple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's still on that wow. beat, He didn't knock down the uh, Okay, I'm going to say, um, it goes both ways. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I will Can consider oral sex. That? Can I just he say that I'm, I'm normally, I'm normally, um, I'm normally the bird watcher. And really? I feel like I'm that guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, I got I, you beat, sis. And I think that, yeah, I definitely think that it's Blake has you. gotten me beat because, um, Blake had pointed out that uh, you had me, mm-hmm. and I did not check for that. Mm-hmm. I was on the phone when you came but in. But you're so, going to look when he leaves. But I'm definitely going to look when, when you he leave. Get up. So don't feel insecure, okay? <laughs> it's so fine. It's anything. a blessing. I don't have anything to be insecure stand about. Up. Just there stand up. You don't I'm, not right I'm not going to do Are you guys intimidated to sleep with someone who has more experience than you? Definitely not. I don't know what that looks like. Oh. Or more experience? Mm-mm, not more than me. <laughs> yeah. I'm the grand dumb. <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> Period. It, it turns me. Uh, it turns me on. It turns me on yeah. to, to be taught new things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like. I'm he like. I'm like. Teach me some shit. Yeah. Never yeah. I don't want to have to be the teacher I all the damn I, time. I, yeah. That's true. It, yeah. It's exciting. We have different experiences. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever been caught uh, having sex in public? Yes. No, but I have had sex in public. I have been caught. How you been well, caught? I guess I have been caught. Um, I, so, okay, I was in the military, and we were um, partying in Dallas, and we mm. were staying at some hotel, That's and time. I was drunk. First of all, let me rewind this back. It's a quick <laughs> story, but it's a funny story. Mm-hmm. I was kind of dating this guy, <laughs> Okay. and he was very popular in Dallas, and he told me to wait outside, and he was going to come outside and he was going he was going to pull up in his car he's going to pick me up from the club mm. so i'm like okay cool so i'm waiting outside the club car pulls up and he's like yo get in so i was like okay this is my nigga this is who i've been fucking with okay i'm fucked up drunk like i'm drunk off my ass i hop in the car we start driving and we're heading to he's like what hotel you staying at so i'm not really looking at him because you know i'm really don't have to and uh, i'm telling him what hotel i'm staying at so we're driving to the hotel then i look over this is not the nigga that I was supposed <gasps> to get in the car with. What? Oh. Yes. Are you still fucking? Baby? But yeah. this was. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, <laughs> but listen like, this, is, you getting it this is not the guy that I was supposed to get in the car with. The guy was mad at me. Mm-hmm. But anyway, the guy I got in the car with was another guy that I had was flirting with all night long. Oh. So when we it pulled up favorite. to the hotel, yeah, it was in my favor. So when we pulled up to the hotel. Oh he was just like, um, what's up? And I was just like, well, what's up, nigga? Like, what's I up? Mean, I'm, yeah. I'm here. Okay. Shit. And I told him, I said, you wasn't <laughs> who I thought I was getting in the car to be with. But, but I fucked with you. <laughs> and I was drunk off my ass. I'll never forget. And we did. We cut up in the car. And I remember a security guard oh, from up. the, from the mm-hmm. uh, hotel came and knocked on our window. and was like, y'all can't do that mm-hmm. here. <laughs> what? what about you? He, he probably, probably like, was watching, too. He had to been. Okay. Yeah. Like, probably got his shit off. So I do have a car story. Go ahead. But I didn't necessarily get caught in public. But um, me and this guy, we had sex in the car. And a friend of mine saw... A video of it online. It was what? like, I think that's your car. Oh, <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was me. I'm confused. You always so get caught up with it. So where that video? At? <laughs> okay, the winners won the team. So we have so good. We want to show it. Where that video at? I probably my Vister. Okay. <laughs> no, it was a new one. It was a. It was some new X N X S. 
XL? No. You know all the size, huh? I do. It was like okay. low fee or something. When you ain't having sex, you got a jack off. We, so we will change over um, <laughs> <laughs> offline. Tell me the sites, it. okay? Um, I, I mean, of course, in the early 20s, I had car sex. But, I mean, I also, like, thank God, have been blessed enough to like have my place my own place since 18 and up yeah that don't mean so i well no because i i have i have oh but i love i love public yeah but Mm -hmm. people are not really some people are not into it most people are and it's yeah not that i run run into i be wanting to i'm like let's go to h&m dressing room let's go you know whatever i I love it like intentional public sex you say not intentional no no i'm not doing in front of a whatever no i'm saying intentional like let's go in the dressing room yeah like no i wish situation was just convenient because he didn't want to leave he he couldn't host he didn't want to leave his house and drive so i had to go over there and i was like i'm not gonna drink you all the way back to my house so he pulled in the trick to fuck Yes. Outside and yes, yes, indecent in in exposure. Yes. yes, oh, and don't be too close to a school or a park. I was that's my story. I was in the yeah. school. Yeah, oh, no. I, was, be, I went to visit my parents. No, when they were staying in Jersey, and the elementary school was right across the street. What? And I was on Jack being fast. fast oh, one of them wrong. sites. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, <laughs> with this little boy or whatever. So we met up in his car, got in the parking lot or whatever. So we chilling, and we start doing it. Mm-hmm. The cops rolled up. What? Damn, my heart dropped. I'm right across the street from my parents' house in the school parking lot. What? So <laughs> we trying to like throw our drawers on and yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. and we just cannot get dressed fast enough. And he's tapping on the back window like it's foggy in here. Like what's up? So we cracked the window. He was like, "What's going on?" I said, "We just in here talking." He spooked the little boy. Mm-hmm. He young twenties. So um, seventeen. <laughs> no. <laughs> so um, <laughs> so, the other, the, so the other officer comes and. Pull me out the car and talk to me, and then they pull him, and they was asking me his name. I didn't know the man's name. Oh, I was wow. like, Darnell. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I hope he don't say a name. But long story short, they let us go, and then we went behind the gas station and finished it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Tomorrow, we must be gone. Tomorrow, we some good dick. <laughs> 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 it was such a pause. Okay. Wow. I'm pregnant. What's um last question? What's the weirdest thing you guys ever used for lube? The weirdest thing we ever used for lube. Yeah. Substance. Uh, I'm gonna let everybody else answer. I mean, I don't use. We- I mean, spit probably was the weirdest. But I don't even know if that's weird. That's though. not weird. Yeah. I mean, I that's. What- <laughs> Well, fuck you with your dry cat. <laughs> my bad, my shit get wet in itself. Oh, it's cake. always wet. I don't even need all that. Oh, oh okay, but let's see your weird thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch using cooking oil. Okay. Using dove soap. I burn it. No. You use soap. I fucked the boy with um dish detergent. Um, oh, no. Detergent. no. Is, you take the cake that? for that. Oh, that was a long time ago. Like a bitch last seven week. Years. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, am butter. Butter? butter? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Does it work? It worked. What kind of butter was it? Margarine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can even get land on the face. Listen, you gotta be a Chris horny Cole. ass okay. to go grab some butter. Mm, you I, can use spices? I use butter. I, um, I I don't think it's weird, but I feel like this is like a jail experience. But uh, so I use Vaseline. My ex, oh, yeah, Vaseline. Vaseline. my ex used to. I I hate, I hate it too Vaseline. thick. It's like I don't like Dude. using it on my hair. Let I alone hate. somewhere else. Like, I hate Vaseline. The baby oil gel Vaseline. No, or the, regular like, Vaseline. Regular. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's bomb. That's bomb. Like rough sex and friction. Okay. <laughs> <It's cold. laughs> what is going on? I know. Know. But anyway, pain is pleasure. Thank you, Javante, for coming through. Of course, sitting in with us or whatever. Yeah, I gotta have Dennis on. Yeah, oh, really? Dennis is a cutter. Is Dennis the other friend? That's the one that the one. Um, Blake, Blake was tonguing down. Oh, my. oh, we would love to have That's him. That's my day one. <laughs> he can come on and be the ex. Oh, yeah, Dennis, you can be my no, ex. No, ain't no ex. He got he to share for the night. Dennis, no, but Dennis, he has some, Dennis is like, 
he asks the best questions. You think it's like radio? I R. seen him on. Um, I seen his performance on the video. I love to see. Oh, I was saying you seen him where? <laughs> <laughs> Brain, I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Make sure y'all go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit us up at ratedmapodcast at gmail.com. Send in your questions. Check us out on IG and iTunes and YouTube. See you next week. All right, guys. Bye.